here to show you how to fold your clothes quickly and efficiently. Why would you want to know how to do that? Well, people wear clothes. People own a lot of clothes. And people don't want to spend all day dealing with their clothes. So here's how to tame that monster. I'll start with some shirts. What you want to do is have a nice flat surface. Start out with holding the collar, get yourself in the middle, midpoint between the bottom and the top. Pull this over to the bottom here, grab that bottom, and then when you lift, you pull your right arm out, you got your first key seam here, and you create your second when you lay it down on the flat surface. It might not be symmetrical. See how the collar's way over here? But we're not dealing with perfection. We're just trying to get stuff to take up less space. So, at real speed, we're talking maybe two or three seconds a shirt. Done. Now, shirts with sleeves and collars and stuff and buttons you have to prepare a little bit. Get them all nice buttoned up. Prepare the collar so it's just folded the way it looks, what, the way you want it to look, the way you want it to be stored. And once you have all those in place, do the same thing. And you're done. Now, pants have an easier technique. Because the whole goal of making stuff take up less space is to make it in the shape of a rectangle. So how do you do it with pants? Well, you just fold over the sides, directly across the crotch, and then fold it in thirds, and then you have that nice rectangle pattern. Shorts are very similar to pants in that you do the same thing, you come across, and then you come, and you only do one fold with those, because they're shorts. And then you got denim here, which is a little thicker, but then you got the same principle, because they're shorts as well. Come across, one fold, again you end up slightly thicker. That's one reason why I don't really wear denim that much, because they take up so much space. Towels are the most basic. They're already in rectangular format. So all you're really doing is folding across and across and across until you're the size of your stack. Face cloths. Same as towels, one less fold. Now, socks are pretty small to begin with, but you can get them really small. What do you, how do you do that? You take your socks, you pair them up, and the ankles, you open one ankle up and fold it over across the other sock. So you have your pairing, and then when you roll them up really nice and tight, you can tuck that whole roll into that part that you flapped over earlier and you get a nice little package that will never fall apart in your sock drawer. Underwear. People have always argued over whether you use boxers or briefs. I tend to use both. So since I have both, I want to standardize the way I fold both, all of them. So instead of folding the crotch up first, what I do is I come across on everything. Why do I do that? Because when you get the boxers, they kind of flap around. They're horrible. So do the sides first, and everything's the same. So I just turned a huge dryer full of laundry into a package that's very easy to manage, very easy to put away. When 
Would you rather see this in your drawer than what I showed you earlier? Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video.